Hello everyone, I am Monica from IELTS 9 as you know it. So you can see this reading name Alfred Wegener, Science, Exploration and the Theory of Continental Drift. Oh my God, this is such a difficult reading because of science word is there. Okay, don't take this bias kind of thing in your reading practice. Try to solve every reading every time when you, whenever you are doing your reading practice, you are getting some good knowledge. That's on this on this basis. Please do your reading. Enjoy your reading practice. Every time you will learn something. Good knowledge, in fact, not something. Good knowledge, you will get it. Okay, let's start this reading. This is the name I have already read it. And of course, let me introduce myself. I am Monica from Miles Nine. At the end, when you will be learning something from my uh, this this video, please subscribe, like, and do comment. Okay, thank you so much in advance. As you can see, this full reading is uh, we are having uh, uh, like small paragraphs as usual in every passage. I will go to the questions first. I will show my reading passages like this so you can read everything with me. Whatever the paragraph I will be reading it, definitely you can read it thoroughly. Okay, now let's look at the type of questions. So first type of question we have yes, no, not given. Next type of question we have as you can see complete the summary using the list of phrases and of course help box is there. Okay, now last type of question we have multiple choice question last four questions are multiple choice question now what is your choice what question you are going to start first definitely i will follow the flow of reading passage okay so first the yes no not given how to do yes no not given of course as true uh, like true false not given i will be reading the statement i will try to understand the meaning of the statement and I will just underline one or two keywords. Those keywords will take us to the location of the question statement. And then uh, uh, there in, in paragraph and this information, we will try to match the meaning. Okay. Wigener's idea about continental drift were widely disputed when he was alive. Okay. The writer is saying uh, his ideas about continental, continental drift were widely disputed. So some controversial kind of thing may be there when he was alive. Okay, so I will go for first this keyword. I will find this keyword, this ideas also, this person's idea. Definitely, uh, I will go to the first paragraph. Reading passage 3 means this is a uh, really a challenge how to solve reading passage 3 in time on time actually okay so this is my first paragraph i will be looking for this person name was there whose reputation today rest continental word is also there but i am looking for continental drift yeah drift is also there okay let's read what they were saying whether it was uh, debated or not when he was alive wegner proposed his theory in 1912 and developed it extensively for nearly 20 years his book on the subject the origin of continents and oceans went through four editions and was the focus okay focus of an international controversy means debate in his lifetime when he was alive it means answer is just guess it out so this is the statement wegner's idea uh, ideas about continental drift were widely disputed when he was alive same thing we have got was the focus because this is the theory he is explaining was the focus of international controversy in his lifetime so it means answer is i will put it Yes, second number is 28. Okay, the idea that the continents remain fixed in place was defended in a number of respected scientific publications. So, the idea that continents remain fixed, continents remain fixed in place, okay, not, no move, not movable, was defended means defended means in support, uh, by, uh, supported by. Uh, in a number of respected scientific publications okay so here if the idea that continent uh, fixed was supported by these publications scientific publication then yes if the idea was not supported um, and only supported by few then uh, false will be there and if they are not talking about any idea uh, about whether they supported or defended uh, this theory or not then not given will be there so my uh, continents remain fixed okay number of uh, respected scientific publications okay first paragraph we have done let's read second paragraph also 
just i am showing you full paragraph do it with me please now let's look at the statement what in second paragraph basic idea was that many mysteries about the his earth's history could be solved if one supposed that the continents moved laterally rather than supposing that they remain fixed in place okay wegner showed in great detail how much how such continent movements were plausible means believable and how they worked using evidence from a large number of sciences including geology uh, ge geophysics using evidence from a large number of sciences uh, these science these subject names are there wegner's idea that the continents move is at the heart of the theory that guides earth sciences today namely plate plate te tectonics is many different from proposal uh plate uh, plate tectonics is in many respects quite different from wegener's proposal in the same way that modern uh, theory is very different okay it is very different okay so what the statement is saying let's read it again here uh, 28th question is saying the idea that continents remain fixed in place was defended in a number of respected scientific publications so no one is defended and no scientific publications are there only the uh, writer is using these subject names and plate tectonics uh, is theory is very different but this is not related to continental movement so remained fixed in place was defended in a number of respected scientific publications actually this publication is also not there actually he in fact he is saying using uh, wegner using evidence from a large number of science including these subjects so it means nothing they have not described anything about it so i will put it not given 29 wegner relied on a limited range of scientific fields to support his theory of continental drift wegner relied on a limited range of scientific fields so no it was large uh, range of uh, uh, it, it was given where i have read now to support his theory of continental drift so 29th here that we have just read large number of see this wegener uh, so they are talking about wegener wegener showed in great detail how much continent movements were plausible and how they worked using evidence from a large number of sciences including this and this it means it means tell me your answer i am also waiting for your answer on a limited number of means limited so here it was given large number of sciences okay so definitely this is no okay now 30th question the similarities now this is important similarities between wegener's theory of continental drift and modern day plate tectonics are enormous means huge thus there are more uh, similarities between these two theories wegener's theory continental drift and modern day plate uh, this same paragraph we will get the answer see this mm, uh veg plate uh, today today also uh, namely plate tectonics uh we have to find similarities plate tectonics is in many respect quite different from wegener's proposal we'll see this clearly it is given so we will select this similarities here they are saying similarities between this theory and this theory are enormous so but they are saying is very different so means wegener's theory and plate tectonics so today is also given see this jo, i am showing it again please read the paragraph again wegener's idea that continents move is at the heart of the theory that guides our sciences today namely plate tectonics is in many respects quite different from wegener's proposal it means this is also no now coming to my next question that is a uh, fill in the blanks means complete the summary see this so clearly you can see this complete the summary using list of phrases means we have help box given so first uh, what is the method of doing this kind uh, these kinds of uh, complete the summary first definitely we will find the location of the question statement blank mean and then we will just try to find the word and try to use synonyms of uh, those words and we will fit the alphabet alphabets in the blanks not full not the word will not come only alphabets will come because they have given write the correct letter a to j in boxes 31 to 36 on your answer sheet okay so let's read one by one 31 fill in the blanks 
life and work okay this is also a keyword we can find it from here one of the remarkable things okay uh, about webinar from a a word is important to find because this will take us to the location when we will find life and work is that although he proposed a theory okay continental drift so i will show you first paragraph we have done second paragraph we have done now i will be looking for third paragraph okay so yeah this word you can see this third paragraph first line is saying when i started writing about webinars life and work you have to subscribe and like my channel okay one of the most intriguing things about him for me was that although he came up with a theory on continental drift he was not a geologist okay so a word we have got twice in this sentence but let's read the statement again so paragraph i am showing it from where we can find the answer life and work see this all keywords are matching that's why i am doing it from life and work is there and one of the remarkable things so one of the most intriguing things about uh, about him means wegener for me was that although he came up with the theory on continental drift from a dash is that okay he came up with the theory on continental drift he was not a geologist okay uh he proposed a theory of continental he was not a same word it is given it means he came up with a theory this we can get synonym uh, in this here same sentence structure we have got so modest fame will not come so so you just uh, match it from a modest fame no fame means popularity Va vast range no uh, record breaking achievement so how can record breaking achievement will come so match everything definitely you will find some matching words research methods scientific debate no debate was they were not talking about debate narrow in investigation no he came up he proposed a theory of continental drift so select group hazardous exploration record breaking achievement nothing record breaking professional interest biographer's perspective this we can go because here he came he proposed a theory of wegener from a a uh, biographic perspective is that he proposed a theory of continental drift he was not a geologist okay na next one his dash his dash but we can get it his dash were limited to atmospheric physics okay so next line is line wise line we you will get the location okay he was not a this we have got he trained as an astronomer pursued a career in atmospheric physics okay so he were uh, he is his were limited to a how what he was limited to a modest fame no research methods were limited to it so can we go with research methods okay select group no record breaking professional interest scientific so let's read the information he was not geologist he trained as an astronomer and pursued a career in atmospheric physics when he proposed the theory of displacement okay no 1912 next line is this his dash were interested to atmospheric physics okay so achievement was this narrow investigation scientific debate most professional interest his professional interest were limited to atmospheric a physics because he was specialized in he trained as an astronomer and pursued a career his interest were limited to atmospheric physics however at the time he proposed his theory of continental drift in 1912 he was already a person of what so it is given like that see this he when he proposed the theory of continent displacement in 1912 he was a lecturer Uh, in physics and astronomy at the university of this in southern germany he was not an uh, he was not an unknown this is really uh, a confusing kind of thing was not an unknown unknown he was not unknown it means he was a famous person in uh, okay so he was already a person of fame he was means he was not an unknown means he was a famous person so what we can write here modest fame uh, uh, he was already a person of modest fame or uh, research method scientific debate narrow investigation vast range no so i, I will go with more modest range means fame fame means famous popularity okay 
सिक्स ईयर्स प्रीवियसली नाइनटीन ट्वेल्व मीन्स सिक्स ईयर्स प्रीवियसली देर हैड बीन हिज ऑफ फिफ्टी टू आवर्स इन ए हॉट एयर बैलून ओके हॉट एयर बैलून आई विल फाइंड इट फ्रॉम हेयर सो he in 1906 he set a world record with for his uh, for time aloft means they are talking about 1906 here he, they have written 6 years previously 1912 6 years means 1906 he had set a world record for time aloft in a hot air balloon hot air balloon is also given see this followed okay okay fill in the blanks is there there had been his of 52 years 52 year 52 hours is also given so world record word is given so record breaking achievement we can put here c 6 years previously there had been his record breaking achievement of 52 years in a hot air balloon yes so this 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 fill in the blanks is quite easy i think so uh, uh, followed by his well publicized but dash again fill in the blanks of greenland's coast okay so greenland coast is greenland is here so we will read it one by one let's let me show it to you so next they are saying 50 uh, followed by his well published well published greenland's coast okay greenland so let's read it from here published is highly published is also there between 1906 and 198 uh, he had taken part in a highly pub uh, publicized and extremely dangerous expedition to the coast of okay so it means answer is extremely dangerous expedition to the coast of north greenland it is given like this well publicized and dash of greenland coast and extremely dangerous expedition so expedition exploration hazard uh, hazardous exploration so here i will put a chance now coming to next one is with the publication of his test book on thyro uh, thermodynamics he had also come to the attention of a dash of german scientist okay so now we have done uh, this also this also this also this also and a also now four options are left vast range research method scientific debate narrow investigations okay select group also now they are saying german scientist so this last line he had also made a name for his himself almost uh, amongst a small circle of uh, this and atmospheric uh, physicist in germany as the author of a textbook this this name was given and a number of interesting scientific papers what they are asking um, also he had also come to the attention of a german scientist himself amongst this circle of this in germany as the author of a test book and a number of interesting scientific papers he had also come to the attention of a dash of german scientist vast range attention of a vast, vast range of no research methods uh, he had also come to the attention of a research method of no scientific debate but here they are not talking about any debate kind of thing uh, 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 himself amongst a small circle of okay uh, no this we can't go scientific debate narrow investigations select group because yes circle of yeah yeah circle of metrologist and atmospheric uh, physicist in germany so that is i think select group will come with that e will come okay now let's move to another type of question now see my full reading passage first paragraph we have gone uh, we have read second also third also okay now three para passages means two types of question we have already done so there is no problem in finding answers always follow the paragraph try to understand its meaning of course keyword strategy also work i am not denying let's move to multiple choice so how to do these multiple choice questions you can see this so first question write the correct letter in box 37 to 40 on our answer sheet okay what is mot d greeny doing in the fifth paragraph okay first i will not be reading this definitely i will read the fifth paragraph about this person okay so where i will find this uh, this this greeny in fifth paragraph in previous page it was only uh, it was only three paragraphs now this is fourth and this is fifth paragraph okay so let's find greeny mt greeny readers interested in wegner's career will see that he often investigation only to pick i have tried to but i am looking for that 
नेम नो ही सेंग लेट मी चेक इट अगेन फिफ्थ पैराग्राफ मोट डी टी ग्रीनी अगेन आई एम रीडिंग इट इंटरेस्टेड विल सी यू ऑल्सो फाइंड इट इफ यू गेट इट मोट टी ग्रीनी नथिंग इज गिवन नो नेम इज गिवन लेट मी चेक इन प्रीवियस पैराग्राफ ऑल्सो ग्रीनी 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 नो सो वेयर विल आई गेट दिस वर्ड ग्रीनी सो आई विल टेल यू वन थिंग हेयर वेन वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस रीडिंग वी वी फॉरगॉट टू रीड दिस बाय मोट टी ग्रीनी इट मीन्स दिस होल आर्टिकल हैज बीन रिटर्न बाय दिस पर्सन मोट टी ग्रीनी इट मीन्स इन फिफ्थ पैराग्राफ ही मे बी यूजिंग द वर्ड आई now fifth paragraph he may be using word i because initially he they have given this name uh, mot t green greener readers interested in the specific detail of wegner's career because we have to find out what he is doing in paragraph what he is saying in paragraph 5 so uh, start pursuing a line of investigation only to pick it up later i have means this uh, greener i have tried to provide guide post to his rapidly shifting interest by different phases of his different sciences which is reflected in the titles thus result the index should be a sufficient guide for those interested in particular aspect of this but perhaps not all my own feelings however okay my own feelings that is the answer i nearby is that parts of do not make us much sense of uh, sense on their own do all of his activities together in this respect i urge readers this is related to this may be the answer uh, my i urge readers to try to experience wegener's life as he lived it with all the interruptions changes of mind and renewed efforts this entailed okay he is urging readers to read this person's uh, lifestyle and all let's eliminate uh, unnecessary options describing what motivated him to write the book nothing no in fact wegener had written the book explaining why it is desirable to read the whole book yeah it is desirable to read the whole book so yes last line he was saying this you can see this i urge readers to try to experience wegener's life as he lived with and all and everything he is talking about wegener's writing and all uh, interruption changes of mind renewed efforts this entailed and i have to index should be sufficient guide for those interested in particular aspect of this so it means they are talking he is talking about to read the book at the end also he is saying explaining why it is desirable to read the whole book because here he has given everything as he lived with all the interruptions changes of mind renowned efforts this entail that's why i will select this suggesting why wegener pursued so many different careers no this is also not given indicating what aspects of wegener's life interested him most indicating what aspects no he is not indicating that make such sense on their own do it, do all the activities taken together okay no exactly this is not perfectly matching indicating what aspects of life interesting him most no he is just telling readers to read everything next question what is said about wegener in his sixth paragraph now wegener in his sixth paragraph now let's read sixth paragraph this is sixth paragraph see this sixth paragraph wegener left behind i am showing full paragraph do it with me please what so question i will read it what is said about wegener in the sixth paragraph okay wegener left behind a few published published works but as he is standard practice these reported the result of his work not the journey he took to reach that point only a few hundreds of the many thousands of letter he wrote received in his life have survived he didn't keep he didn't keep notebooks or diaries that recorded his life and activities he was not active in scientific societies he did not seek to in find influence or advance his ideas through professional contacts politics spending much of his time at home in his study reading and writing or in the field of collecting observation so it means he was not taking too much notes he was not writing so much and not keeping his diaries notebooks he was just uh, uh, he was just rep reported the results collecting observations only so okay 
uh, about Wegener in the sixth paragraph. He was not particularly ambitious person. Huh, yes, we can go for, yes, he was not a particular ambitious person because he was not in contact with other scientific groups, scientific persons and uh, groups and uh, he was not, uh, uh, he, he, he was not writing anything means he was not keeping any notebook or diaries for f uh, further things. He was just uh, collecting observation. He used to stay at home in his studies, reading and writing or in the field of collecting observation. So it means this is perfectly matching. But let's read others also. He kept a record all of his scientific. No, this is wrong. This is false. He did not adopt many of the scientific practice of the time. Nothing is given like that. He enjoyed discussing new discoveries. No, he did not enjoy. He was not part of those scientific groups. So answer is A. Here B. Okay, now 39th. 39th answer is. 39th. Why? What does the Greeny uh, say about other famous scientists? So Greeny means writer. Okay. So Greeny say about other scientists. Okay. Some other scientists. These next paragraph. Some famous scientists such as Newton, Darwin, Einstein left mountains of written material behind hundreds of notebooks and letters numbering in the tens of thousands like others left extensive journal of their thoughts speculation scientific notebooks the most material a scientist leaves behind the better chance a biographer has forming accurate picture of how scientists ideas took shape and evolved okay so it means when someone is writing too much then other uh, future generations can take benefit from that so Greener say about famous scientists, their public, uh, published work had a greater impact on Wigner's did no no. They had fewer doubts about their scientific ideas when this is also not. Their scientist ideas were controversial than Wigner's. This is also not. They are easier subjects to write about than Wigner because they were writing too much. Here it is given. Na? Everything they were. Um, now here uh, the material hundreds of thousands of notebook and all the more such materials a scientist leaves the better chance a biographer has of forming accurate picture of how a scientist ideas took and involved so it means we will go with d number now coming to 40th what is greeny's main point in the final paragraph final paragraph main point okay final paragraph you can see this i am uh, firmly of the opinion that most of us wegener included are not in any real sense the authors of our own lives lives we plan, think and act uh, often with apparent freedom but most of the time our lives happens to us and we only re retrospectively turn this happen uh, into a coherent uh, narrative of fulfilled intentions. This book therefore is a story of both life and uh, Wagner planned and intended. So basically firmly opinion. So he is saying we plan, think and uh, with fr apparent freedom but most of time our lives happens to us. Okay. It is not enough in life to have good intention. No, nothing. He was not like that. People need to plan carefully if they want to succeed. So they can't. So we can't uh, need it. We can't plan it carefully if we want. Nothing want to succeed was not given. People have little control over many aspects of their life. Yeah, this was given. We plan, we think, um, uh, often with apparent freedom. So see this. But most of the time our lives happens to us. Okay. So it means uh, people have little control over many aspects of their life. So I will go with C. It is important that people ensure they have the freedom to act. No, nothing. No, no, nothing was given like that. So I will go with C number.